I'm taking you to a mess with me and I'll show you what's available in the San Francisco boutique. Besides picking up the things that I have ordered, I also wanted to see what I can purchase next time. If you want to see what I bought this time, definitely stay tuned for my unbox video soon. I will also link my Hermes shopping vlog in October for you if you like to see more Hermes shopping vlog. I will also include the price details as I always do. Let's get right into the video. There are a lot of different silk scarves for you to pick from. I told my essay that I want to pick up a cashmere scarf for myself. I got a chance to compare the women's and the men's version in the boutique. The gray one closer to me is the woman's version and the navy blue one is the man's version. You can see the woman's version is longer and wider. The price is also more expensive. They both are reversible and double-sided in the exactly same cashmere material. I'll let you know which one I picked up in my unboxing video. Here is the bag display wall and I remember how many nice bags it used to have before, even from my old shopping vlogs you will be able to see not only big and men's bags are left i pretty much don't see any women's bags here and i also asked my essay and she told me that the inventory is still low at this moment there are some slgs are on display like the small constance wallet in the ostrich leather and the 2002 wallet as well I also spot a Calvi dual car holder in red and some bag charms as well. There are some SLGs but it doesn't feel that there are a lot of them are available at this time and it doesn't affect my visit at all. I'm still so happy to be here at this beautiful place to enjoy my eye candies. On to the ready to wear section. I started following Hermes ready to wear for the past few seasons and I realized that they are more and more modern and stylish. Most important thing is that their quality feels really nice when I tried them on, especially compared to another iconic C brand I tried it on in person recently. For any of you owning the C brand ready to wear and the Hermes ready to wear, which one do you think is better? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. This dress style vest or cardigan feels so nice. This is what I meant that the quality is amazing. Look at the details. I recognize that these H jogger pants and they are from the Spring Summer 22 collection. I'll show you a few ready to wear I tried on during my visit in a bit. My goodness, I think I'm loving this fringe jacket so much already. This fringe jacket is in the double-sided cashmere and it's such an iconic mass material. It's embellished with leather details on the collar and the yokes. The collar here is actually removable. The leathers are all in lambskin here. I love the fun silhouette and it's also visually rich with the hand laid fringe details. The fringe jacket is about $8,800. It's just such a fun piece. Hello, this is what I'm wearing today. I changed the belt to my Kelly belt and my hair back and my Chloe sneakers. So I'm gonna try on this like a vest, a dress here, and there is a men's sweatshirt for sizing. Do you like my sweater? It's so fun and holiday looking. Okay, let's finally try on this one. This dress style cardigan or vest is such a masterpiece and I'm trying on size 38 here. The material is in the smooth calf skin. Just by looking at it and wearing it, I can tell the quality is amazing. So is the price. So the cardigan is currently retail for $10,900. What do you think? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. And I really love the two pockets here. Look at the details of the material. It is insane. You can see the close up here and this is how the inside looks like. This is how the back looks like. 
Another item I'm really interested in is this men's sweatshirt. So I asked my essay about the smallest the size. Regardless of the style, she has this sweatshirt in men's size small. I'm trying it on for sizing purpose. It looks big on me, but I feel like I can definitely get by for an oversized look. This bicolor sweatshirt is in the 100% cotton material. There are two versions. One is the crew neck one and the other one is hooded. The crew neck one I'm trying on here is $730 and the hooded one is $850. I put this one on my wish list. If I see the right color pattern I love, I think this will be a great purchase for me as I will be able to wear them often. What do you think? There are also other styles of sweatshirts are available in the boutique right now, but they are all in the large size. Onto the shoe section. These high top Cali sneakers in calfskin with iconic palladium plated Cali buckle is currently retail for $1,250. I tried to order a pair of sock booties from my essay and my regular size is not available but my essay suggested trying on a half size smaller to see how they fit as sock booties might run a little big. I'll show you what I ordered when I get it in my size. These black dual sock booties are so comfy and they're $880. What do you think? I did end up picking up a pair of shoes that I really really love in the end and I honestly can't wait to show you in my unboxing video. One of the other category I'm super interested in exploring is the Hermes home section. Especially so many of you were telling me how good their plates are and I'm definitely tempted. Imagine how nice it is to have these plates when you're having dinner parties at home. Especially I'm really into cooking these days. I totally need these gold plates, golden spoon and chopsticks as well. How nice. Besides the tableware, what other home goods are you into? On to the jewelry section. Do you see the Ferrando pendant in the white gold with the diamond set in the back? It's so beautiful. The necklace is currently retail for $9,250. I also got to check out the Cape Cod watch in person for the very first time. This one that I'm trying on here is in the 23mm silver dial cross movement water resistant 2-3 bar. The strap is interchangeable. You can do different color or even shorter. The watch is currently retail for $3,000. I don't know why but when I'm wearing it, I don't feel the joy or any excitement. What do you think of this watch? Another beautiful piece I got to see in person is the white gold Constance necklace. The rose gold version is $7,250. Usually the white gold version is a bit more expensive than the rose gold version. This is how it looks on me, how pretty it is. But I think I still prefer the rose gold version more. Now they also have the necklace in rose gold and the pink sci-fi gemstone available for $7,150 if you like pink sci-fi. It's also available in the rose gold and a black jade gemstone for $4,925 if you're into black jade. So which one do you like better? Which one is your favorite piece among everything I showed you? What quota bags are you waiting for? Stay tuned for my Hermes unboxing video and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!